everybody, welcome to Contra Thoughts. My name is Richard, and we've got another episode coming up talking about celebrity marriages. All right, so, <clears throat> yeah, welcome to the show. Uh, welcome, new subscribers. I've had a number lately, and uh, thank you. Thank you for taking taking the time. Um, drop a comment. Tell me where you're from. I'm seeing a handful of people. I know we've got uh, Oklahoma, Texas, Kentucky, um, Georgia, California. Those are some no- ones I know about off the top of my head. Uh, but drop me a comment. Oh, Montana. There's another one. I just talked to a guy from Montana. He's got a channel as well. Um, yeah, talking about celebrity marriages today and probably seen this somewhat. It's been covered quite a bit. Uh, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith, a long time celebrity power couple. And it's pretty crazy. Did some interviews. Uh, A number of people have commented on it. Let's listen right now uh, to some comments from that and we'll go from there. Felt like we could be over. Yeah, no, we were over. We have given each other trust and freedom with the belief that everybody has to find their own way and marriage for us can't be a prison and I don't suggest our road for anybody. It is not your responsibility to make your wife happy, right? Just like it's not my wife's responsibility to make me happy. It's not. It's my responsibility to make me happy and it's her responsibility to make her happy, and then we're gonna come together and build on that happiness. Need a little coffee. I've always liked Will Smith. A lot of celebrities are easy to bag on, us common folk. And you know, they're overpaid babies. Uh, He's a pretty hardworking guy. He's kind of like The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and some others, Tom Cruise. They're just working all the time, and they have a lot, their hands a lot of stuff. Not to talk about celebrity culture, but I don't want to bag on celebrity culture. This isn't it at all. In fact, Will Smith hitting the point right there, he's talking about marriage. Now, side note, when I lived in Los Angeles, um, I mean, I'm from there originally, but I was pursuing film stuff and things. And I remember actually hearing a number, this is probably 15 years ago now, maybe more, um, 12, 13 years ago, something like that. I remember hearing stories about them being in an open marriage then. So that's an aside. Not to be gossipy or anything, but this isn't new. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, an open marriage is is uh, pol- not polygamous, but polyamorous. So it's slightly different. I've seen ads recently that came up. I have no idea how that YouTube algorithm works with ads. I literally don't know. Um, but I've seen ads on YouTube. And one was like, you know, green-haired girl. You might have seen it. And she's like 20-something. And she's talking about how she used to be Thought she was monogamous, but then she realized she was polymonogamous or polyamorous, meaning you have multiple marriages or multiple relationships at the same time. Or an open marriage, right? You come home to that person, right? But you can can free to go out and party. That's what Will Smith and Jada Smith, Pinkett Smith, are saying that they're doing. And they're doing it for the sake of their marriage. And that's the same advertisement that I saw also was. Well, first of all, that's just an outright lie. (laughs) Like... We all know that deep down. And my bet, if this doesn't stop with Will and Jada, they're just going to get divorced because it's it's not sustainable at all. It's completely not only against nature, against our own ego, but it's also against God's law. And that's something that is pretty striking. But before we get to some scripture, what does Will say? He says, I was getting jiggy with it, right? Uh, no. I mean, men in black, I mean, he's right, he's a super talented guy. But he's he's an idiot when it comes to stuff like this because he's not believing the scripture. Now, he does mention in another interview I saw uh, where he says it doesn't square with his uh, Christian upbringing and this and that. And he also talks about sin in another place and how his therapist had to tell him that it wasn't sin and this and that. And it's like, oh, Oh man, woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Like the scripture is so profound because God is outside of time and yet dwells with us in time in Christ that he can use that. And not all scripture is uh, helpful for every generation 
all of it, right? And that might sound like her heresy or something. It's not. I'm saying like 500 years ago, 300 years ago, there were different debates in the church and in the culture that certain scriptures were used to combat those and help and strengthen and encourage and convict. Now we've got other ones. Nobody was questioning what marriage was even 50, 60, 70 years ago, let, let alone 700 years ago. But now everybody's totally confused. I don't know what marriage is. I don't know what a man is. I don't know what a woman is. I don't know what a child is. I don't know who has authority, blah, blah, blah. Each age, each culture, each time has its own issues. And scripture being God's word breathed out is able to be applied in certain, certain scriptures in certain ways. It's really amazing. But what does he say? He says, well, it's not my job to make you happy. Well, yeah, that's, that's true. It's not my job to make my wife happy, and it's not her job to make me happy. But is that what marriage is about? <coughs> no, no, it's not about. It's not that at all. Not, not the inventor of marriage, God himself. He doesn't say anywhere about making marriage. I mean, 66 books, search it. You can find the most um, paraphrase modern English translation that actually uses the word happy, which really isn't a good translation in the Hebrew or the Greek. Uh, but nevertheless, you can find that, and it, it's not in there. It's, scripture is vacant when it comes to what marriage is as far as making you happy. There's, there's no proof text because they don't exist. But what we do see is something like joy. And we see James talking about counting it all joy when you encounter various trials, which includes marital strife. Now, there's plenty of people out there, and you might have had it, I've had it. We've all had problems in our marriage, whether it's, you know, whatever percentage of fault, whatever's going on. Maybe it's actually a moral failure. Maybe you're just terrible with money. Maybe you're just dumb. Maybe you're being immature. You're hiding sin, whatever it is. But we're sinners, right? That's why we need Christ. That's why we need his atoning sacrifice to wash us clean and give us new life, wrap us in his robes of righteousness. And Will doesn't understand that. Jada doesn't understand. They think, well, my marriage ultimately isn't about making me happy or you making me happy and so on. Yeah, that's right. But then making yourself happy? Good luck with that. I hate the phrase, but good luck with that. <laughs> You're not going to make yourself happy, but notice what where this is coming from. This is coming from an idea that's very Eastern and very non-biblical, that it, stuff comes from, out, from within, right? Ultimately, your self-worth, your dignity, everything comes from within, not from without, right? Your righteousness, your wickedness, everything comes from within. Now, the Bible is does speak clearly about this and ultimately that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We do have wickedness within us. We do lie and cheat and steal and so on. We do sin. Because of that, there isn't this conjuring up of wickedness and and righteousness kind of battling it out in this yin-yang sort of thing. It just doesn't exist. Not in the Christian faith, not in the scripture, not really in reality. I mean, let's be frank here. We don't, I don't ever need to tell my children to say no to something that's good, right? Like obedience. <laughs> have you ever, those who have children or grandchildren, right? If you, I guess if you have grandchildren, you had children. Um, <laughs> drop a comment. Tell me, have you ever had to tell your little ones, especially if they're like under five, Hey, you know, sometimes I want you to disobey me. No, the expectation is obedience. And so often that expectation isn't met, is it? (laughs) Like, because we're fallen, we live in a broken system, in broken bodies. That's why we need redemption. That's why we need Christ. The redemption and forgiveness, all that doesn't come from within. It comes from without. It's an alien, quote unquote, righteousness, just an outside, a foreign righteousness. And we need Christ to turn to him and, and believe in his atoning work. Not without, from within, but without. Ecclesiastes speaks very well about this. I mean, Solomon, right? Probably the Will Smith, although you know Solomon was a king, of course. But he had lots of stuff, like Will Smith has lots of stuff. And what did Solomon do? I said to myself, I'm going to do this and that, right? I'm calm. Let me test myself with pleasure. So enjoy yourself, and behold, it too was futility. This is Ecclesiastes 2. I said of laughter, it's madness. What does it accomplish? I explored with my mind how to stimulate my body with wine. 
He says, verse 5, I made gardens and parks. Verse 6, I made ponds of water. Verse 7, I bought male and female slaves and homebound slaves. Verse 8, also collected for myself silver and gold. He goes on. Just go read Ecclesiastes 2. I mean, the whole book is great, but it, it's, it's dealing with reality. That's what scripture is. That's why the Bible is so wonderful and amazing. It actually deals with real problems <laughs> it, it, that happens in real life, not fake life or fairy tale land that a lot of people think they're living in. So Will, marriage, yeah, it's not about making you happy or making yourself happy. You ain't going to do it. It's not going to happen. Right? Jesus says in Matthew 19, the Pharisees came to him. We know this story. It, why is it, is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? And he said, have you not read? And this is a good text for our day. What marriage is, what a person is, who gets married, and so on. Have you not read that he who made them from the beginning made them male and female? And he said, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh, so they are no longer two but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. And then they said, well, why did Moses command to give a certificate of divorce and put him away, put her away? Because God changed his mind. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, that's not what it says. Because God just wanted you to be happy and live your best life now. <laughs> no, nah, 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 no, right, red X. I probably won't put a red X in. I might, it's just right here, it's right here. No, what does he say? Verse 8 in chapter 19 of Matthew, he says, He said to them, this is Jesus, Moses, Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, permitted you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. And I say to you, whoever, whoever divorces his wife, except for sexual immorality, and marries another, commits adultery. And whoever marries her, who is divorced, commits adultery. That's pretty straightforward. Now, a lot of people don't like that. A lot of people, because divorce is rampant, right? It's half, you know, half marriages and divorce in the culture and in the church. But people, stop getting divorced. Stop it. I mean, how do you expect to live a Christian life if you're acting exactly like the world? Like, it's still an abomination, Malachi 2. Right? Jesus says it here in Matthew 19. But further still, what? Divorces his wife, adultery, immorality. Oh, that's not... Those are never seen as good in the scripture, ever. And nowhere is this talking about happiness, fulfillment, right? Your responsibility to make me happy or my responsibility is to make myself happy. You make you happy. You do you. This is all this self, selfish ideology that is completely foreign to the text of scripture and really reality in general because we know we can't make ourselves happy. I can't make myself happy. Give me a break. I mean, Solomon couldn't make himself happy with all the... Slaves and stuff and servants and food and sex and money. I mean, look at how many celebrities. <laughs> I mean, come on. It, it, it's just, it's, it's astounding and I don't want to mock, but it's, come on, people. And certainly no celebrity is going to watch this, I'm sure. But common person, you, me, let's stop being idiots. Stop looking at these celebrities and thinking, well, yeah, I mean... You know, maybe. No, no, not maybe, especially if you're a Christian. No, not maybe. Yeah, he has a good point. Maybe they sh we should do an open marriage. So you're saying, hey, we were done. As Jada said, we were done. I got an idea. Let's have sex with other people, but we'll still sleep in the same bed, usually most nights. What do you think? Oh, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. What could go wrong? It's like a movie, you know, like a terrible, campy, whatever movie. And they're like, what could go wrong? You know, and then like two scenes later, everything goes wrong. Their marriage isn't going to last. Mark my words, it will not last. Hebrews 13.4, marriage should be honored by all and the marriage bed should be kept pure for God will judge the adulterer and the sexually immoral. How do we not understand that? How do we not take that into consideration? They should. Will Smith, Jada, you, you guys can repent. You can turn to Christ. Close your marriage. <laughs> it is not be about you being happy. It's about God fulfilling you through Christ alone in his spirit. I hope this finds you well. If you like this, go ahead and share. I'd appreciate it. Uh, and comment below. Tell me where you're from. Tell me uh, about yourself. And tell me, I don't know, what else? I don't know. 
something. Share, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. But in the meantime, I'm helping you be against the world for the sake of the world. All right. <laughs>